9011. This place is fun. Hey, Griswold, you gonna eat that gum? No, I guess I'm not very hungry. We'll pass the goods, man. Hey, give me some of that. Me too. Get your own. <laughs> Well, thanks for inviting me, guys. Guess I better go now. See you later. I'm a thief. Nothing but a two-bit low-life thief. They're coming for me! What have I done? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I know. I'll do some homework. That'll get my mind off of it. There. That feels better. Now, let's see. One eighth plus one sixteenth is... Sergeants, I presume you've come prepared for duty? Got the sandwiches and cards right here. Excellent. Now let's go play some poker. Gus? Ah! A little early in the day for hide and seek, don't you think? Oh, hi, guys. I wasn't playing hide and seek. I was just, uh, uh, checking the mark on this tree. Yep, good and thick. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to school. Coming to get him? I thought the police were just coming for Officer Appreciation Day. Yeah, and they're bringing Officer McMeow Meow. Look! Hello, kids. I'm Officer McMeow Meow, the crime stopping cat. I find crime perfectly awful. Oh, boy! Hey, Gus, you okay? Huh? Oh, it's you, TJ. You sure are jumping today, Gus. You nervous about something? I'm just worried. About a friend, I mean. A friend? Yeah, his name's, uh, Russ. Russ, huh? He in trouble? No, at least not yet. But you see, Russ met these guys that were kind of cool, but also kind of scary. And they made him take stuff. Take stuff? You know, without paying for it. You mean like stealing? Um, yeah, that's one word for it. <sighs> Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I know. And so does Russ. It's tearing him apart, and he doesn't know what to do. I mean, what would you do, Teej, if you were Russ? Well, maybe Russ could just take back what he stole. But he ate it! He ate it, huh? Oh, boy. I was thinking of telling Russ that he should just forget about it. Maybe no one will ever find out what he did. Maybe, Gus, but I know I'd hate to be in Russ's shoes. A thing like that can really eat a kid up inside. You're telling me. I mean Russ. Of course, there is one thing he could do. What's that? He could turn himself in. Turn himself in? But then Russ will get in trouble. Big, big, big trouble. Yeah, but what's worse, Gus? Getting in trouble or knowing he did wrong for the rest of his life? <sighs> Gus! Huh? How you doing, son? Oh. Fine, Mr. Kelso. Well, I'll be seeing you. Wait, you left this. Oh, um, that's for you. There's a note. Bye now. I did it. Signed, Gus. What's going on? Hey, there must be nearly $3 in here. Actually, it's $2.43. I know it should be more, but that's all I had in my piggy bank. I'm old, Gus. You gotta bring me up to speed. Why are you giving this to me? <sighs> well, you see, Mr. Kelso, remember yesterday when you ran out of Beanie McGum? Well, that's because I took it all. You mean... You stole it? Well, see, there were these guys, and they had a secret creek, only it wasn't really a creek, and there were these fish and old cans and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not why you stole it, Gus. It's that you stole it. I'm just disappointed. On the other hand, what you did just now, coming in here and fessing up, that took guts. The question is, how do you balance that out? Tell you what. You come back every Saturday for the next two months and help me out around the store, you know, work off the debt, and we'll call it even. Really? Only there's one condition. What's that? You gotta promise me you'll never do it again. You got it, Mr. Kelso. Good. Then there's only one more thing we gotta do. Seal the deal with some ice cream cones. Good job, Russ.